Well, now to our big story there in a case of emergency. And this week, people in Mount Sterling are glad that these things were in place. Someone surrendered a baby in a safe haven baby box at a fire station in Montgomery County. As Drew Ammon tells us, the box that might be the start of a new life for this healthy baby boy has only been in place for a few weeks. That's tonight's big story at six. Yeah, they told me on the radio, I wasn't even here yet. They said, we do have a baby. And I was like, this is amazing. Fast. Yeah. Captain Zach Adams is still feeling emotional as he shares the most unexpected news Montgomery County Fire Station 1 could ever imagine. And it's even stranger when you get toned out back to your station for a call. On a recent Monday afternoon, he's not supposed to share which Monday. An alarm sounded. One that announced a special delivery. However, station one was unoccupied. But the crews were not in the station. They were doing training at another station. The alarm blaring in the station went unheard, but... There is a tone that is dropped, just like there was a, if there was a medical emergency or a car accident or whatever. It's a tone that says, hey, there is a baby in the box at your station. Captain Adams and a few others rushed back to station one, expecting a false alarm. And then we get here and there's a baby in the box. So we were... <laughs> Shocked to say the least. A healthy baby boy was surrendered in Station One's safe haven baby box. A big surprise because the box is fairly new. I actually had this baby box blessed and put in service on April 4th, and we're what two months away now, and we already have a baby. Um, it's not something that we were expecting at all. The baby was in good health and was taken to the local hospital. Captain Adams says the baby is doing great and will find a forever home within 30 days. He's now left reflecting on the impact of the situation. When we put this in service, I didn't think about, in my mind, I thought it would just be for Montgomery County, but it's not just Montgomery County, it's all of Eastern Kentucky because there's not another baby box east of here. A fact that Captain Adams believes will change when his story gets out. It's an amazing experience. In Montgomery County, Drew Ammon, LEX 18 News. If you're curious about where these safe haven baby boxes are located, the safe haven website shows you exactly where all of the boxes are in each state here in Kentucky. Most of them are in Louisville, but we do have three around Lexington. I covered one a little over a month ago that was placed in Brandon Crossing, and the one that Drew was just reporting on is the only one east of Lexington.